Nine total wins of pro since 1981 in a horse sense golf legacy second to none. This time of the year for Joey Sindelar, it means one thing. Home. The Dick Sporting Goods Open kicks off Friday at Enjoy Golf Club in Endicott and goes through Sunday. Now, this is Joey's home course going way back to his victories at the old BC Open in 1985 and 87. The winning share for first place, get this, over 277,000 bucks. I could use some of that. So, Sindar, he plays well here and he's always excited to come back and live the game. It never gets old for me because I get to visit with the people who have cheered for me year after year after year. But on top of that, the energy and enthusiasm that Dick Sporting Goods has brought the event is stunning. All right, plenty more on the tournament in the coming days. Well, football is back. Boy, it feels pretty good to say that. Pennsylvania starts a week early, and we kick off our previews with the Wildcats of Athens. The Cats had a tougher season under head coach Jack Young last year, going just 4-6 and six in 2013. Gone is Division I kicker Troy Stuyvesant, who's now playing at Penn State for the Nittany Lions. Athens going to have to prep fast. They will play Susquehanna in a scrimmage on Saturday, so this Saturday already, before hosting Tunkhanic. That's a tough name there. Tunkhanic, August 20th. I don't know. What is that? Tunkhanic. Tunkhanic. Well, we'll say Tunkhanic. August 29th at home. New season, same goals, win. Last year wasn't very, we didn't do very well. And this year we have like more experience. So I'm excited to see how we do. Football is a big part of Athens and it's good to have the numbers back. But we're just getting back to basics. We're going to take care of little things. And when you take care of little things, big things happen. A little bit of our tradition slipped away from us last year. And we got to get that back. All right, on us with baseball, the MR Piles did well this year with fans crossing the gates. Elmira averaged 3,000 fans per game and a total of 75,000 plus for their 25 home games this season. The Piles went 26-21 this year before falling in the PGCBL West Division Championship round. Elmira also hosted the 2014 PGCBL All-Star Game the second time in franchise history. End out with some fun news, I suppose. Author Sean McDonald wrote the ultimate football road trip, which saw him travel to every NFL stadium in the country. And he has a little something for the Buffalo Bills. McDonald called Ralph Wilson Stadium and Bills fans the drunkest in the entire league. In honor, well, you beat the job.